is where we see all the fish. This is the fish that we don't catch. <laughs> but yeah, we have everything in here. There's largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. There's a pickerel in here, there's that long thing. There's a big largemouth bass that's passing us right there in the middle. Today is a rainy day. It is raining. And um, the last several days, it was either raining or snowing. If you check my latest video before this one, I talked about rainy, snowy days. Yeah, unbelievable. End of April and we've got snow. But it's all melted off, obviously. Uh, weather, as far as temperature, it was, was rising on Sunday and that kind of got rid of everything. Not too much stuck to the ground either but uh, everything was on the grass, of course, and that's all now gone because the rain has kind of washed that away. Weather will probably go up into the, I think, low 50s, uh, very low 50s, something like that, when it gets to the highest point. I think we're around 46 degrees, according to my car's thermometer. Lane change here real quick. So I decided today I would take you guys to Gurney Mills. If you've never been to Gurney Mills before, uh, here's your opportunity. But I think the challenge will be, will security allow me to continue recording while I'm there? It's a possibility, they could stop me. And that's always been the issue with any type of photography or any type of video work inside a mall. Uh, I guess if they don't notice it, there's not much they can do. If they notice it, they can stop you. I recall one time I was actually at Woodfield Mall uh, and the streets of Woodfield actually, just taking some photos at night uh, with one of my students uh, in the parking lots and uh, security came up to us and told us we couldn't take any photos. But this is uh, probably around the time when it was a heightened security scare for terrorism and things like that and they really didn't think that was a good thing. I don't know if that's laxed up now, now that everyone does selfies and takes photos of pretty much everything out there. I think it's kind of laxed up because you know we see, we see videos all the time on uh, YouTube, we see videos all the time of uh, people doing things in the malls and everything. So I think some of that may have laxed a little bit, but back then, not a good thing. They wouldn't let you do anything. So I'm half expecting security to stop me from, from recording, but I'm hoping that they don't. Uh, one thing I did want to bring up to you too, since we're actually in the car, we've got about 15 minutes to get there. I'm not going to keep you, you know, in this segment <laughs> for 15 minutes as I'm talking, but um, I have a new vehicle, other than the two vi uh, videos that I made already in the cars. Those, those were actually with my old vehicle. It's the exact same car, really. <laughs> I, I lease my vehicles, and, and so uh, I got another leased vehicle here. But what's nice is this vehicle has uh, lane keep assist. That's actually really cool. I mean, we're, we're driving in really bad weather right now, and uh, visibility is not the greatest thing, but there's a camera mounted right below my rear view mirror and that's probably what you see on the upper part of your video screen right now and that camera actually looks forward and looks at the the lines of the lane and so if I have a clean looking left and right lane line it centers me in the line so I could literally let go of the steering wheel like this and drive on the highway and it'll keep me centered in the, in the lane which of course is not the safest thing to do but it actually is now, on the dashboard, there is a green light that lights up telling me that the camera has spotted the lines and it's keeping me in the center. Now, that can disappear. <laughs> if, if the lines on the road uh, are faded, it may not see a clean line, or maybe even like today with the rain, it maybe is not going to pick it up very well. In my, in my case, it's actually picking up very well. Um, but if it sees it, it'll keep you in the center. And if the, if the if the road curves, it'll turn the car. <laughs> it's very cool. Not a very safe thing for me to do today, so I'm not gonna do it to show you. But uh, as you saw, I let go of the wheel for a very short time. And another interesting thing about lane keep assist on your car is that uh, I'm actually turning right now. So if I let go, I'm actually turning. <laughs> but here's the thing with lane keep assist. Um, it kind of feels funny when you first start it because it kind of takes control of your steering wheel. I mean, if you go slightly off to the right or slightly off to the left, it'll pull you back to the center. And um, if you let go for a long period of time, there's a warning signal that comes up on my dashboard saying that it senses nobody's holding the wheel. And it kind of tells you, 
get back to hold the wheel. <laughs> so it's, it's a smart thing. Um, this vehicle also has another cool thing, which a lot of cars have today, is um, forward collision. If, if it senses that traffic has stopped and yet my car hasn't because I haven't applied the brakes, it'll slam in the brakes for me. Kind of a cool thing. Good safety features. So what does all this stuff cost? Well, when I leased this new vehicle, overall, over the three year time period, um, I'm gonna spend about an extra thousand dollars compared to last, last time's lease. Okay, it is essentially the identical car, really. There, there's nothing that's changed in this vehicle. But um, these new safety features, and, and okay, I got a sunroof too. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I have a sunroof as well. Oh, oh, one more thing the car has. It has this uh, special feature um, through Bluetooth anywhere in the world. As long as I have my phone with me, I can turn on the car, turn off the car, turn on the alarm. Uh, what else? I, I, I can find where my car is, which I've actually tried already before. If I, uh, if I park my car somewhere and I don't know where it is, I can turn on the feature. It'll show me on a map where my car is and where I am. And as long as I walk towards the car, or in my case, I was using my mobility scooter, scooter towards the car, I can find my car. And that actually came in handy. When I made that video on the Expona trade show, uh, the high-end audio trade show, I had to park across the street and I couldn't remember exactly where the car was actually parked. And that came in really handy. Otherwise, I would have been searching all over the place um, for, uh, for my car. So I'm moving over here, just letting the guy behind me pass me. So even though it's wet and re uh, wet, rent, uh, wet <laughs> rainy weather, this guy just blew past me probably, I would guess, 70 miles an hour. I mean, he's going really quick. So anyways, um, these new features cost me about $1,000 over the next three years. I, I think those features alone are worth that extra $1,000. The safety features, to me, are worth that money. The convenience features are good too, of course. Uh, I'm not a big fan of sunroofs during the uh, sunny days. I, I don't like the sun beating on my head, but I do use it as a moonroof. And of course, uh, car manufacturers are now calling them moonroofs. Moon so anyways, um, let's cut at this point. I'll, I'll pick us up again once we're actually inside the mall and uh, hopefully security won't kick me out. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, so anyways, we're inside Bass Pro Shops right now. So I'm gonna show you what I usually come to whenever I go to Gurdon Mills. So this is, uh, we're heading towards the fishing section. <laughs> That's what I like to do. So you'll see me hanging around here when we go to, when we go to Gurdon Mills. And really one of the most favorite section really is the, uh, this little fish tank. This is where we see all the fish. This is the fish that we don't catch. <laughs> But yeah, we have everything in here. There's largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. There's a pickerel in here, there's that long thing. There's a big largemouth bass that's passing us right there in the middle. And there's a lot of fish. A lot of kids like hanging here, but so do the adults. Just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like, it's one big waterfall going right into a big, big, big tank. This tank is humongous. This is the type of aquarium you should have, right? It's pretty nice. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. Let me show you a little bit about some of the fishing gear that's available. There's always sales of things going on. You could buy tons and tons of baits, lots of rods, reels, fishing line, you name it, they got it. Let's just go down one of the aisles here. You see there's just a lot of equipment. It's just rows and rows of equipment. And fishing is a big industry. There's a section specifically for fly fishing. So if you're a fly fisherman, this White River Fly Shop takes care of that for you. you go down one of these aisles again. Again, rows and rows of, of uh, fishing lures. A lot of stuff. Let me show you the boats. The boats are kind of cool. Always wanted a boat. 
Never had enough money for one and never had any space to put it. A friend of mine once told me, he says, your best bet is to rent the boat because you may spend a couple hundred dollars, but that's a lot less than thousands of dollars you buy a boat with, right? It's probably true. And where do you store this? I mean, if you, if you use it a lot, that's another story. If you're constantly on the water, it might pay. This is a big pontoon boat here. It might pay off and swing us around. But if you're a casual guy, it's kind of hard to justify the boat. You, know, you got fishing boats, bass boats. You know. These are the things that guys always like to get. But really, can you justify it? I don't know. It's a nice nitro. These are, these are the things that guys like, right? Guys love this type of stuff. This is great stuff. Yeah, cool stuff. This is stuff that everyone wants to get. Everyone needs a boat. Well, maybe not everyone. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> these are these are nice. They are expensive, but if you have the money. Why not? All right head out of this area. Let's get into the areas we can't afford, which is fishing gear. <laughs> or you get a little boat like this, why not? Cost you $519, get out on the water. All right, let's over, head over to the shooting area. <laughs> let's see if they stop me when I'm in the shooting area. Um, all right, if we're heading in this direction to get there. It is the shooting area. Shooting gear. Okay, here we go. You can get lost in a store this big. Alright. So if you're into guns, this is the place to go. Hunting. Hunting gear. Let me show you this area here. This is a uh, Right upstairs there is their indoor shooting range. So if you wanna shoot your own gun, you can do that. But I wanted to show you this area. This area is where you can come and practice on your own. Kids love this, right? So you can shoot and practice. I don't know what they charge her, but I've done this several times in the past. My daughter's done it as well. Kids love this stuff, this is good stuff. So, yeah, a lot of fun. And just like the fishings uh, section, you've got lots of shooting gear you can buy. Let's go down this way, see what happens. Lots of pistols, handguns you can get. Lots of rifles. Yeah, so if you're a, if you're a hunter, if you're a target shooter, this is where you get your gear. All right, I think we're done with Bass Pro Shops. What do you think? And knives. If you need knives, there's tons of knives you can buy. Lots of goodies, lots of goodies. So let's go ahead and close ourselves out here. Anyways, that's Bass Pro Shops and Gurney Mills. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, see more videos like this and other types of videos that we'll do. Hit the little bell icon, that will give you an indication whenever new videos occur. And if you have a comment on anything, put a comment down on the bottom below. That gives me more indications as to what things you're looking for and what uh, type of uh, videos you're most interested in. Appreciate you coming with me today rainy day, but things to do on the inside, right? See you guys next time.